If you guys recall a couple days ago, we posted this video called Nintendo's manufacturing partner just revealed this about Switch 2, and it went over this company called Welltrend that makes some power IPC devices uh, that control the power delivery inside the Nintendo Switch, talking about how they were going to begin mass manufacturing during the third quarter uh, to bounce back their profit margins for new models of systems for the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X and S, and Nintendo Switch. Now, it's been widely debated what new models actually means, and were they talking about, you know, a Switch Lite OLED or whatever the case might be, which is, I don't know, it could be. It's not going to be for something like the the Zelda Switch Lite Edition because that's not a new model. They don't have to create a new component for that. It would just use the same components they've been making for Switch Lite and Switch this entire time. So what are they talking about? Well, people have been trying to like look around for other sources on this stuff. And in doing so, the original source, Money DJ, went ahead and posted a brand new article on this with more details from the financial meeting that gave us this information in the first place. You see right here, this was posted on 8-19-2024. This actually got posted last night. Now, what's fascinating about this report is that we actually have some actual real translations of it because when we do the Google Translate on this one, it... It's a little funky. It like eliminates Nintendo Switch and Xbox for some reason from the translation. Uh, so there's some funky things going on with Google Translate. And to be fair, Chinese doesn't always cleanly translate over to English. But thankfully, thanks to family boards, we have some local like translations by people who actually can speak the language. And these translations actually detail that Nintendo Switch, the brand new model, has gone into mass manufacturing right now. Now, the components for it are in mass manufacturing right now. And to understand how important that is, we need to remember one big thing. The Nintendo Switch went into mass manufacturing when? Wait, wait when, when did Nintendo Switch go into mass manufacturing? All right. All the way back in September 2016. Foxconn, Pentagon Start, production of Sony PS4 Pro. Foxconn, trialing production of Nintendo NX. Mass production. This is a paid thing, but it be it, it, yeah, it began in September. And when was the Nintendo Switch revealed? October. Now you might go, well, why does the mass manufacturing matter? Well, just look at the Nintendo Switch situation. When products go into mass manufacturing, they're usually revealed about a month later. Now, why is that? Because when products go into mass manufacturing, they don't begin assembly right away. The components go into mass manufacturing first. Once assembly begins, that's when leaks happen. You guys remember the Tears of the Kingdom OLED? I got it right here. You remember how this thing ended up leaking? Yeah, it leaked in December of 2022. Why? Because it was being assembled. Companies like to control the narrative. They do not want things to just leak on the internet for manufacturing. Because once it hits assembly, the bottom line is thousands and thousands of people now have access to the device because they're putting it together. Cell phone pictures will be taken Things will leak online. This is just how it happens. This is how we always see the iPhone before it comes out. It's how we see all technology devices basically before they come out. They always leak from manufacturing. So what's the best way to not worry about things leaking from manufacturing? You just announced the system. Nintendo Switch began mass manufacturing in September of 2016, was revealed in October before assembly began, and people could actually take pictures of a complete unit. So... Why does this matter? Well, let's get into the actual translations because obviously you guys want to know what the heck is going on and make sure that, hey, this actually is about mass manufacturing. So let's go over to Family Boards here with users FWB-BWD. And he said, I just checked if there are other Taiwanese media corroborating the Money DJ report of Welltrend CEO's remark about the Switch new model. But the articles I found only focused on the company's recent stock buyback without any mentions of its Q3 forecast. So they, they focused on a different aspect of their financial uh, stuff. Now, the console applications business, but rather unexpectedly, Money DJ published a follow up story with a tiny bit more info regarding the Switch 2. And this is his own personal translation. Although Welltrend is not privy to the exact release timing of the new Nintendo model, the customer has begun calling in shipments from upstream suppliers in advance. The component has now successfully entered mass. Production. Now, it's not very clear whether it indicates in whether in advance indicates ahead of schedule, improbable, who really knows, or before the mass assembly 
commences, which is probable. Again, I just told you, assembly of the unit begins after the components begin mass production. You got to have the components piled up, stockpiled, so assembly doesn't fall behind and just keep waiting on components to come in. Now, I'm pretty sure that mass production mentioned in the second sentence refers to the manufacturing of Welltrend's PD controller chip for Nintendo, not assembly of the console, which is totally true. Welltrend is not an assembler. They are a component manufacturer. Lastly, I'd like to echo a few minor posters caution that the new model might not necessarily mean the Switch 2. It could mean something on a left field, like a light revision, but that seems extremely unlikely, especially since Nintendo repeated brings up the Nintendo Switch successor. Now, just to back up this person's claim that it is about mass production, another native speaker over on Family Boards came in and said, this sentence rules out for me the possibility that this is the new Nintendo console people are not talking about. So, like, they're easy basically saying, this rules out the possibility that it's a Switch Lite. This is from a native speaker. Uh, but it says, the person uh, mentioned that entering the mass production phase implies the component was not in mass production before. Previously, this company supplied components for the Switch OG, so I believe this is related to the new Nintendo console. So essentially what he's saying is this sentence right here, this this, this rules out the possibility that it's a Switch Lite. Uh, he's basically saying... If this is like a new, like, like like a new like Switch Lite OLED or something like that, that this particular sentence, again, this is a native speaker, completely rules out the idea that it actually is that, and it's it's definitely for some sort of new, absolute new device from Nintendo. Uh, and then the, again, this is just confirming again that it is in mass production, implying that it was not in mass production before. And so he does believe this obviously is related to the new Nintendo console, the Nintendo Switch successor. And he says again. I'm a native speaker. Now, certainly, I have reservations on information from Money DJ. I believe the supplier for the Switch 2 is unlikely to reveal their production status before Nintendo announces the release date. But also, again, we had reports back in September of 2016 of the same sort of stuff. Now, again, I, th this to me is all fascinating because if mass production is happening right now, and again, this is according to Money DJ, which isn't always the most reliable source, uh, but they were doing exact quotes from the CEO in their last report. So, assuming that these reports are correct and that there's not really a reason to think they're not, uh, is Nintendo Switch 2 is being revealed next month. Look, we talked about this yesterday when I said, you know, the Nintendo Switch 2 being revealed in September and all of this stuff. We, we talked about this because it, we had some evidence suggesting that PH Brazil, uh, the a report we did last week, inferred that we would end up, you know, getting a reveal in September, because the events in September moved up to August, the Nintendo Direct Museum was one. There's supposedly another presentation later this month, likely a Nintendo Direct, at least based on what he's hinted at. And if that happens, then it feels like why did they clear out September except for an indie world so they could end up, you know, revealing the Switch 2 before Tokyo Game Show. But setting aside that, the biggest indicator of a Switch 2 reveal next month would be this. If the components for the Switch 2 have entered mass production right now in the month of August, Nintendo is likely to reveal it next month before assembly begins because Nintendo wants to keep control of the narrative around Switch 2. And you might go, well, yeah, but holiday sales, I get it. That's like the number one argument everyone's made. And outside of the fact that there's actually numerous counter arguments to how much it would actually impact holiday sales, the bottom line is Nintendo keeps saying the Nintendo Switch successor. They just said it two days ago publicly on the Nintendo of America Twitter account. In the end, Nintendo is bringing up the successor themselves over and over and over again by just telling us that they're not going to talk about it right now. They're not going to talk about it here. But they keep mentioning it publicly. It just keeps happening. At, at this point, the internet is well aware that there is a successor system on the way. Now, is the general consumer aware? Well, no, because we're not running commercials on YouTube and all these other places. And that's the thing. If they drop a trailer for Switch 2 next month, it's still just the internet that's going to be aware. That trailer isn't going to be playing on commercials. That trailer isn't going to suddenly appear in marketing material at all these various, you know, retail outlets. Like, that's not what's going to happen. It's going to be marketing material for Nintendo's holiday stuff. So the general consumer might still not be aware, even if a reveal trailer is dropped. But the consumers that are already aware of successors coming will just now have more information on that successor. So I honestly don't think there's really that big of an impact on holiday sales. And I, I, I do get like the September thing. You can argue, well, they have that that Zelda O that Zelda, sorry, that Zelda Ola, that Zelda Light releasing. You know, they don't want to hurt that. I'm like, guys. Every single special edition Switch Lite they've ever made has only had one or two manufacturing runs. What that means is they're sold as collector's items, all right? They're going to, they, let's say they make a couple million of 
the uh, and that's a lot, by the way. But let's say they make a couple million of the Zelda Light Edition. It's gonna sell out. They're gonna sell all of them. It's not gonna be a problem between now through the holidays. They will sell all of them. It won't be an issue. I, I'm not really <laughs> Nintendo's too worried about that. In the end. What's the big story here is that mass manufacturing of components appears to have begun, according to Money DJ, reporting on financial stuff coming out of, well, Welltrend, which makes a literal component for Nintendo, makes about 70 to 80 percent of that given component for Nintendo. And if mass manufacturing has begun for Switch 2 from them, then assembly is going to begin sometime next month, which means Nintendo is going to reveal it before a picture is taken and shared online. And yes, pictures will still be taken and shared online, but it just won't be as relevant anymore because we'll already have the device revealed by Nintendo before that happens. It's all about controlling the narrative. This is exactly what happened with Switch, exactly what happened with PlayStation, exactly what happened with Xbox. They all got revealed before things got leaked online. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo Rebel Jets from Nintendo Prime. And oh boy, man, the, the, the evidence just keeps stacking up. It keeps stacking up, guys. Like... September, September, it appears the Switch 2 is revealed in September. Woo!